the more it was obvious that events were happening down that up and down that corridor. And the Mount Wilson Ranch was part of that corridor. And so I thought, well, it could be an interesting laboratory. And so that's why I bought it. I wanted stuff that was literally in your face or chasing you in your car, you know, or you're sitting outside the, the restaurant and uh, you're seeing this literally football stadium uh, craft drifting across your town, you know. And uh, so <clears throat> those are really interesting accounts. There is a ranch in Nevada near Area 51 that was secretly researched by Bob Bigelow's original Skinwalker Ranch team of psychic spies. For decades, while simultaneously researching Skinwalker Ranch, the NIDS team was searching for the lost entrance into a giant cave system of ancient alien artifacts. An abandoned alien mining operation leading to a 500-foot underground pyramid hiding a UFO nicknamed the Mount Wilson Manta Ray. For thousands of years, indigenous people have known and protected its secrets. For decades, top secret government teams, even before Ronald Reagan's Star Wars program, were scouring the ranch attempting to recover the metamaterials, biological material, and ancient unknown artifacts, and were stopped by an explosion of paranormal activity. Animal mutilations, alien abductions, poltergeist activity, moving orbs of light and shadow figures, strange glitches in time, and the ghost of a Native American shaman appearing alongside with three extraterrestrial beings who protect the land. Now, new leaked whistleblower evidence has confirmed the truth behind these local legends. New ancient artifacts are being discovered and mysterious energy is transmitting from the meadow and an undiscovered tunnel entrance has been found. Independent researchers, scientists, archaeologists, and Native American historians have joined me, Carl Crusher, to uncover the truth. We are on a mission to find the lost entrance into the underground and uncover the real mystery of Mount Wilson Ranch. One night, we're looking up in the sky and this unidentified flying object, this UFO, is doing figure eights, right? And it keeps doing them and doing them. And so they stand there and they're watching this and then it deviates dramatically and it shoots off at low altitude right into the mountain itself, a craft go right into that mountain and disappear. Oops, sorry. You're good. There's got to be more here. They might be. Usually my camera will pick them up underneath. This whole timeline is pretty fascinating. Man. We found this wall as well. I struggle to film it though because there's so much graffiti above it, but I just want you to notice the etch marks below. All these lines down here are very cool. The whole wall all the way along is indigenous markings lines and streaks carved all over the wall and holes in it it's pretty cool Whew, middle of nowhere wow we're finding it all over the place now look at this this is old stuff look it's like a little guy riding a magic carpet <laughs> it almost looks like that there's a figure over here with all kinds of squiggles. Whoa. Yeah, what is that? That's like a that's like a figure, look. You got some antelope running off. There's that star pattern again. And like a rainbow. Whoa, another antelope. So cool. Big head. What is that, dude? 
Oh my gosh, weirdo. <laughs> wow. Look at him. Bizarro. He's got like weird stuff coming off the back of his head too there. What? And then here's one of these, these beehive pod looking things with the tops coming off. I've seen those over at Dameron Valley too. They're, and over at Anasazi Trail, they're like, there's people inside of them. In the pods? Yeah, inside of these beehive looking things. Pods up there. There's stick figures inside the other ones. Look at that guy. Weird. Is that one up above you there too? There's a little one over there. Looks like a little jellyfish. There could be more. I climbed up on top. Hello. I'm up on top above that weird alien head thing. And like this is all chipped away. And it almost looks like a hand pointing or something. Like an arrow pointing going this way. Which is where we think the next petroglyph site actually is, is over that way. Oh yeah, here we go. Oh, look it up there too. Look at these. Oh no. All over. Yeah. I'm going to come up here and get a closer look at these. Here's an antelope and a little figure here. That comes up to this whole timeline. Right here. This looks so similar to the one behind my house. You have a figure with a depiction of a lion going off like this. Here's more antelope. This is just like a villager. Notice he doesn't look anything like the alien type figures that you see in other spots. They were really into this whole like timeline thing, marker. Another one here. Big antlers coming up. Look at those antlers. Look at the antlers coming off of this deer. This is cool. He's got like multiple points. Oh yeah. See his antlers like a big buck. More over here. Little teeny ones down here, like. Look at these little guys. The no notorious. Little microglyphs. They're like thumb size. Those are cool. Man, there's more all the way over here. This is cool. It's hot in this. It got man. so hot all of a sudden right here. Yes. Wow. So hot. There's a little guy right there. Look, and there's a upside down one next to him. Wow, it did all of a sudden get cooking hot right here. Oh, there's old ones right up in there too. Yeah, good eye, Jeff. Thank you. Look at this little guy. He's got the the uh, triangular body and the head, the arm coming off. Antelope over here. The little micro ones over here on the right. left. Those are cute. Look at how small they are. These are adorable. Do you get down here? Oh, was that a snake? That sounded like a snake for a second. Look at the size thumbnail compared to. What do we have here? Wow. Yeah, look at that. Who knows? Yeah. Up above there's all chipped off too. It's even some on this rock right here. Jeff, what the hell, man? 
Why is this know. all gated off? A driving uh, conversation that we were just having, and we turn in and we go to go see Paranagate Man finally to Petroglyph. We were just talking about him being restricted off. Last night we watched Close Encounters of the Third Kind, and they talk about contagions and parasites. Look at this parasites common to thermal pools. This is to keep people from going to the petroglyphs back there. That's a big lot. Warning, parasites, warning, parasites. So what did they find back in there now to where they were wanting to keep everybody out? There's just petroglyphs and ancient artifacts up there. What are they talking about? Well, technically what they're talking about is this is the a hot springs. spring. And the hot spring has pup fish in it. And some guy owns this and he had his dream, but they won't let him open it because I guess this is a new one to that now public can't even go near it. But hiking up over there is supposed to be where Piranha Get Man and yeah. the yep. petroglyphs are, huh? Yep. Wow. Let's go find out. Let's go ask at the Yeah, station. let's go ask let's at see. the gas station. To get, you know, like you even listen to yeah, so maybe up by the, so this is where it gets funny, is we just drove past the extraterrestrial highway. Area 51 is right behind the mountains, right over there. We're right by everything. So as we're jumping from these petroglyph sites from one to the other, the signs say that they're Clovis period, which means the people carving these petroglyphs were around during the woolly mammoths, <laughs> during the ice age. That's so crazy. And they go all the way along here, right next to Area 51 of all things. Yeah, right. And we come up here right on the turn off where these petroglyphs are and the ancient artifacts would be. It's like parasites, <laughs> no yeah, trespassing, see... closed area, no, no persons or vehicles. No petroglyphs anymore. It's no all closed Mount off. Irish? We went to go to Mount Irish. We Mount did. Irish, all yeah. three gates closed off. We just watched a video of people up there touring and looking at the petroglyphs now. No access, not allowed. Jeff and I are on a quest. So we just drove clear down by where? Kind of by Area 51 of the turnoff. Rachel. To, to Rachel, to Extraterrestrial Highway. Ash Springs. Ash Springs, and now we're up in this crazy boulder patch off the highway um, east of there looking for more ancient petroglyphs that are supposed to be back here and we don't know exactly where they are other than we've noticed some footprints on the ground and so we're following them back here hopefully whoever came here before us whoever this chick was it looks like a girl yeah the, yeah about a size eight Went back this way. <laughs> ah, we found some. Yeah, look, there's there's this almost a figure here. And then this line is carved all the way around the boulder. Comes down. It comes all the way, wraps all the way around like a big egg. That's cool. Oh. Yeah, it comes back this way even. So there could be more petroglyphs all over, but this is the first one right here. They just carved around this block. And then it's like there's a line or a pointer going up, I wonder. Stand here and look. If there's stuff up there. Yeah, right there. What is that? Just some weird box and a squiggle line. I don't know. This place is so crazy looking though. <clears throat> it is like being on another planet wow. back in here. Feel the stillness and look, it looks kind of... It looks fake. Yeah. It's like on a, being on a weird movie set or something. Yeah. Feels like we're on some Disney set. <laughs> we're on a set of Nope right now. Look at this. There's a weird metal sign right here. What is this? 
Oh, hey, it's like an antelope. It says number three. So did we miss two other spots? Huh. What the heck? Maybe up, look at that rock. That's cool looking. This whole thing is yeah. crazy. It's like the Flintstones. <laughs> what did you find? Oh, here's a little dude right here, look. He's got a body, his arms are up, there's his hand. He's got fingers, one, two, five, and a headdress with three things poking up the top. Again, almost no feet, two little legs, his arms going up. And then look, here's a, like a serpent line coming off to the right. These are old, this is old. I know I keep saying that, but they, these are some of the oldest ones in North America. See, look at that. That's super awesome. What the heck? This place is weird looking. I've always wanted to stop here and check this spot out. <laughs> this is cool, man. This is a yeah, great spot. Is, wow. These are super old, super, super old. Hey, rattlesnake, check it out, Jeff. He's big. He's just trying to get away from us, though. Whew. Scared me. Ooh. He's going back in there under the rocks now. He told us he was there. Yeah, he wasn't. He was uh, definitely friendly. Yeah. I've been wondering about that all day today. Yeah, I got a good jump scare out of it, but <laughs> he was nice. <laughs> you saw me do a backpedal. Well, that makes me worry for evening. You know what I mean? Walking out of here is yeah. going to be sketchy. Yeah, I don't have any lights and shit. So we didn't bring a flashlight, yeah. Mm -hmm. Let's go a little bit more and then we'll turn around. Yep. Yeah, that was a good clue. Yeah. Desert creepers will be out tonight. Yes, sir. Yeah. <laughs> Getting all the mice. Yeah. Wow, we just keep finding more and more up here. Heard an antelope. What's this guy doing? Sideways. This is where when you get back in spots like this where you see petroglyphs of dinosaurs and stuff. No joke. Oh, they could. We could find one. Let's do it. I'm looking right now. <sighs> looking everywhere. Oh, this place is like an alien planet, dude. Super awesome. It's so cool up here. Imagine these boulders just rolling along when the Great Basin flooded out. Or that looks like more, more right there. It looks like four-legged animals on that dark wall, kind of. Could be wrong. Yeah, it looks like it. Kinda. Does it? Yeah. Let's go see. I know, right? This flooding out and all the resources and, and everything that it brings. Like, look at that. Like, all the tool-making materials and wildlife. Oh, yeah. Kind of does. It's hard to tell. Yeah. Oh, they're so old, so old, yeah. I think it says up past here, like up over this way, there's an early man site. Over that way? Like Further out? To the east a little bit, yeah. Do we want to just cut that way or go back and around? I, I, I think it said you had to day, drive, but again, we could more than likely walk, who knows? This is wild. This whole place is like bedrock Flintstonesville. It's so crazy. And the petroglyphs here are some of the oldest I've ever seen. They look uh, very, very old, thousands of years old to me. 
like caveman, Clovis period stuff. Jeff Tarantula. Check it out. He's cool. Hey little dude. He's not very big. See, there's my finger. Hello. I'm crazy? Yeah. Why? His back's to me. What if he jumps at me? Alright. I just want people to see compared to my thumb the size of him here. He's cool. Probably lives right under that rock. Alright. Jeff, sometimes you're driving this highway and you see like the migration of those things and the whole highway is like. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Good eye, Jeff. Look at this. Whole boulders carved. Oh, yeah. Wow. Yeah, Look at that. I'm trying to keep my shadow out of view. Sorry, but totally glyphed out. Several lines going across, plus the dots. Like a giant Easter egg. Oh, look, here's another goat. Oh, yeah, look. Right there. Yeah. See the dude on the end? Yes. Look at the spirals. It's like something in the sky. Goes and wraps around. There's a gang of people. There's actually a group of people. Down here, yeah. Look. Figures, and then this is like a little line of them all holding hands. I've seen this clear over by the coral pink dunes painted with a yellow pigment. That same lineup. It's like a family of people all holding hands. Like almost like little Lego figures. Notice the uh, triangular shaped head with the shoulders going out again. And the three fingers, one, two, three. Long body, short legs. It's hard to see. See in the shadow kind of right here. And then this whole boulder, like I said, is like an Easter egg. You go around it and there's more and more. Here's a whole box square with zigzag lines and a top coming out. Wow. These are like caveman art, dude. These are old. This whole boulder. All the way around. Rad, dude. This place is so cool. This is so cool. Yeah, that says number four. Do we keep going back and look for number five? <laughs> I guess it's all marked. Yeah, we got sunshine. Yeah. Let's do it. What's cool about all this is that, again, we want to remind you that in the summertime, the indigenous people that were making all of this rock art were up at Mount Wilson at Jeff's property, doing stuff up there, hunting and doing all the same things. We still have to find the petroglyphs up there uh, by Squaw Null. But there's the sleeping circles, the shaman cave, and all of that stuff could have been done by the same people that made all of the rock art that we're seeing down here. It's pretty mind blowing to think about it and to have this kind of connection coming together with it all. Oh yeah. Oh, he's got guy. horns on Ooh. him. Those are like creepy fi figures over there with the horns and stuff, right? <laughs> Look at that. All right. Down more. We almost didn't come up this way. The snake kind of spooked us. <laughs> <laughs> We're walking out of here in the dark, but look here. There's figures that looks like snakes and lizards and stuff too. Wow. Big scary looking guy. Yeah. Big head. Big eyes. Cool. Look at these guys. Wow. Look at the head, the big eyes and the horns coming up, the arms off. Same, this guy doesn't have any legs, just a big headdress. This like solar like symbol or star symbol, and then an arrow pointing off going that way. Like to go further up. That's cool. Oh, I just crawled down. This whole freaking crack trying to get out of here. 
But uh, yeah, we're trying to chase out of here before the sun goes down. And now we're all very aware of rattlesnakes. So we're just pinching down the creek bed here in the washout, getting back to the road. But we've seen a lot of cool stuff up here. Some very, very old petroglyphs, for sure. Welcome to Area 51. Of all the places we wound up, we made it. There's the black mailbox. I'm using my night vision right now. Something loud is coming right at us. There it is, I got it. I got it. You see it just hovering there? Look at all these off to the right of it. 